Lotus Turbo Challenge 2, developed by Magnetic Fields and published by Gremlin Graphics in 1991. This is the GHB re-release from 1993. They released a couple other games in this format, like James Pond and a few other games. And the box is smaller than the original release, but I kind of like it. Easier to store on a shelf. So this is considered to be one of the best games on the Amiga. It was originally developed on an Amiga and published, ported to a few other systems. And inside the box, we got the passwords. Passwords for one of the levels is split pea, or pea soup. The game on 3.5 inch floppy. The instruction manual in black and white. This is also an international release, so it has a few other languages. And a Gremlin graphics, some kind of prize drawing. So there's some reviews on the box. A worthy sequel which shouldn't be missed. Without a doubt, Lotus 2 is the best racing game ever seen on the Amiga. Once you've played Lotus 2, you'll never want to play another race game again. Superstar. <laughs> the first game in the series, Lotus eSpirit Turbo Challenge, came out in 1990. You could race the Lotus eSpirit Turbo SE. For Lotus 2, they dropped eSpirit from the name because you could race the Lotus Elan SE and the Lotus eSpirit. You're not able to choose which Lotus you want though. You'll race with the Elan SE on the odd levels and the E Spirit on the even levels. The E Spirit is a bit faster than the Elan, but the Elan has better handling. The game's theme has become popular on Amiga and several retro game sites. The digital sample in the beginning of the song is from Yellow's Oh Yeah and was also used in the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The first Lotus was a lap based racing game and Lotus 2 ditches that for checkpoints. Lotus 2 is also more of an arcade game than the original. In the original game you had to manage your fuel by stopping for fuel at pit stops, but in Lotus 2 you don't have to worry about fuel. There's 8 courses in the game and they all have a pretty good variety. There's snow levels, storm levels, and they all have their own hazards. There's hazards like oil spills and fallen branches in the road. If your time runs out before you reach a checkpoint, You'll still be given extra time if you have enough momentum to cross it. There's two levels with power-ups. On the marsh level, you can get green time bonuses which will give you extra time. The storm level is really cool. There's thunder and lightning and rain. And I think Lotus 2 looks amazing for 1991. A while back I reviewed the game Lamborghini American Challenge. And in my review I said that that game was compared to the Lotus series. And I can see why. The games look really similar. But Lotus 2 came out earlier. The storm level is the only other level with power ups. There's red turbos which will give you a speed boost. Each level has its own loading screen and you'll be given a password to load your progress. On the motorway level there's an opposite lane of oncoming cars. You can drive in this lane and the other cars will honk at you, but it's faster if you want to get around the cars in your lane. I mentioned this game's soundtrack is amazing, but so are the sound effects. When you drive through tunnels, the sound will get quieter. It's little things like this that make this game so awesome. On this level, you can also drive under crossing semi-trucks, which will give you bonus points. 
I think the fog level is the hardest level in the game. You can barely see, only a little bit, and you can see trees coming in the distance and then judge which way to go. I think there should have been time bonuses on this level too, but I'm just saying. Lotus 2 also has multiplayer. On the Amiga and Atari ST versions, up to 4 players could play by hooking up the computers with a serial cable. You can even link an Amiga and Atari ST together to play multiplayer. In this mode, only one of the players needs to get first to advance to the next level. If you enter the password DUX, you'll be able to access a secret game. This is called Crazy Quacks, and it's one of the game's creator's first games published for the Commodore VIC-20 in 1984. It's cool this secret game is in here. So if you like classic racing games, I definitely recommend Lotus 2. The levels all have unique environments and provide their own challenges. The soundtrack is awesome and so are the sound effects. The graphics are good for the time. I definitely recommend this game if you like classic racing games. If you liked this review, please check out my other reviews, like my Lamborghini American Challenge review I did a while back. Thanks for watching.